Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So today we will discuss about how to use uh, developer tools for our testing purpose. So developer tools provide so many functionalities that we can use in our day to day testing lives. Especially I haven't learned this like uh, from any sources like how to use developer tools uh, for software testing. This is all from my experience and some of the use cases of developer tools they are providing. So before we start, please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon. And uh, if you have already subscribed this channel, thanks for supporting and share it to your QA friends. So let's start. So first let's start with our blog only. Why to test others blog. So this blog has so many bugs. So it will be also useful for you to how to use developer tools. So I am using Chrome developer tools. Some of the developer tools like for Firefox is also capable of doing most of the things. I am not sure about Safari or uh, uh, Internet uh, that Microsoft Edge browser. So to open developers tool, you one thing you can do is you can go to inspect. So it will open developer tools directly. And there are shortcuts as well. I think function F12 for Mac or uh, Windows F12 will work. So let's start. So here, like uh, once you open developer tool, you can move. Okay. So it's fine. Like if you see, you are seeing like uh, this is very small window. So it has uh, several tabs open. So if you are not seeing these tabs uh, from here options, uh, here uh, more tool, or you can uh, open or close uh, whatever uh, tab you required. Okay. This is. Uh, Okay, I have opened almost all the tabs so you can open like if you want so few tabs here also so you can add uh, here uh, tabs from here so it will cover almost everything. So let's check so first of this uh, so first one I want to tell you this uh, console tool is most of the automation testers have used this for find the elements also we have in previous videos for XPath. I will show you how to find XPath using this uh, developer tools as well as some of the uh, plugins. So all plugins are also mostly added to the developer tools only. Yes. So first thing is like to find the elements. So you can see all HTML page here which uh, element uh, has what properties. So first thing is a UI when you are testing UI you should uh, look this developer tools. So I will create one more video on like uh, what HTML things you should know as a tester. So here you can see like uh, this is menu is some proper ID some name main menu. So you need to check like if it uh, all the elements or buttons have proper labels or not uh, what kind of uh, text it is using uh, like what if I do like uh, this is long string like. So you can check like okay it is fitting in the menu bar or not. You don't need to ask developer to insert more uh, long string for you. So you can just check like this. So okay it is expanding. Sometimes it uh, it is not expanding or uh, text uh, covers all the page. So this is how you can test this thing or you can use this element uh, tab. Let's uh, you can explore more your own. <laughs> yeah, it's always uh, exploration testing is the best testing. Okay, so exploring tool is also a best thing. So now is console. So <laughs> sorry for this so much red thing. So uh, I have directly added template from other sources. So those are those failing. So here you can you are clearly seeing right. Uh, these are the errors in this page that need to fix. So mostly when you uh, load your page first time, it will load the errors. What error this page contain? So some of the errors may not be important or some are the warning itself, but for like uncaught errors are very critical. And you will also see sometimes some ID is missing in JavaScript or JavaScript errors here. So you can use this first pulse or also if you are automating you can test your JavaScript thing here. So this works like as a JavaScript only so 1 plus 2 3 or you can provide JavaScript command like uh, uh, filters and you can try here and what elements it is speaking. So you can use to find uh, use to 
for automation you can use to test your javascript uh, uh, sentences you are using so this is much from console so this is the best part console is the best part to get you the bugs so always keep an eye on this so whenever i keep testing my website i always uh, open console uh, here and uh, test the test my work so third one is source so source is not much uh, for us as a qa mostly developers can see their stuff here or i am i haven't explored my sources you can try like if it is helpful for uh, you and you can comment in the video uh, as well if you know the use cases better use cases of this tab other is network so this is again very much important uh, page or tab for uh, uh, qa so when you load the you can clear to your logs existing logs here and when you are navigating to other page or with navigating to cell page it loads the, all the requests here so here you can see like while loading this it took around uh, 20 30 mb 21 mb resource files you can see some red files that uh, says uh, that tells that uh, request got failed so you can click on that and check why it got failed or you can ask developer like i am seeing this fails as a 400 bit request why it's failing so you uh, if this is also uh, useful to get the bugs so here like in preview you can see like uh, what uh, got wrong some uh, if it is some uh, valid data right so you can see what data it is passing in preview what xml it is passing and everything you can see so what time it took how request work like uh, how much time it waited how much time it took to download the content so if you are seeing for longer request it if it's waiting time is more or content downloading time is more you can ask developer for performance issues so it has uh, some like block requests third party requests you can check this also it has so many tabs here js css img media font doc so you can use like mostly it is it will filter based on the what you have selected now as a testing wise one more important thing here is this icon so it is for uh, website uh, means what kind of internet you want to use so currently there is no throttling so it is using my broadband but if i use slow 3g and now reload the tab it will actually use the slow 3g network so sometimes you want to test your uh, application with uh, slower network you can use this so this is very important like you can be try going offline in between so it went offline now so see it didn't load it further so you can for those kind of scenario you can use this also it has uh, uh, so some like you can disable the case or enable the case so here also it has like disable case so this will directly clear i am in uh, incognito mode only so it won't affect but it will directly disable the case and if you want to try the scenario where you want don't want to uh, use the existing case then it will uh, you can use this so this is pretty much from network tip uh, if you have more use cases feel free to comment uh, in performance so again like you can record your performance uh, using this tab so you you have more options as well but like while clicking i have continue performing now i am loading this page so it will record all the profile all my request is how much time it took so all the performance aspect it will record so it's uh, recording recording page is loading 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 now loaded so i can try some little bit a uh, few things and now i can stop so let's see what's happening so it will uh, it is stop and it is loading profiling so it will give us a report for performance I think I have loaded so much thing, <laughs> so it is taking some time. Yeah, so it give give me better uh, understanding of this thing. 
so here like uh, this is uh, very very informative thing so if you don't you are using if you are not using third party performance tools you can rely on this so here you can see like this is uh, your gpu memory chart this is listener chart so here in document this is gs js have if so how much memory it is using and all so it will show like here it was on peak because we started loading our page also you can uh, uh, select one of the person and you can get chart for that only so you can uh, in frame uh, you can have this uh, like uh, you can have uh, for, for particular time period so I want to this time period or not so you can uh, play around here try to understand more thing if required I will create separate video for this thing if I found more use case and uh, more use so for performance testing we are using third party tools mostly but for small small thing or something new developed right before we monitor with third party tools I uh, personally use this like and check like if it is performance is impacted before this feature and after this feature is same or not or how much important so here you can select time frame uh, for which time frame you want to select this and based on this uh, I, I have selected this frame so that's not giving based on that it will give you the output see like you can see also like what is loading at what frame so you can select that frame I am not sure how to unselect that. <laughs> there should be some way. Or select all. I am not sure. But uh, this is the way you can use this performance tab to record your performance and it will give you fine uh, graph and what memory it is using, how much data it is using and all. Now there is memory tab. So memory tab again gives you how much memory it is using. So uh, it is uh, give you for output and some help profile. You have to create some profiles here. I am also not sure about this how to use this tab. Mostly I saw developers using for their some analysis purpose. But it takes the snapshot of this current page when you start. I, I click on start. So it will give you. So oh, the size of how much system is size is there how much it is using window size so whenever you think like it is very peak or it is very costly you can always have a snapshot and uh, uh, give it to developer to check so you can save this thing it is 7.3 MB you can save this thing and give it to developer to analyze or if you are understanding more you can analyze this thing and tell like okay this 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 thing is wrong uh, please check so it has like uh, if you go to containment it has like uh, this software testing tip cello size is 36 retain size is 47368 i think it's kb yeah i'm not sure what is it but you can use this and now it is application so application is again like mostly uh, useful for developers they use like uh, for world storage and what DB they want to use but it I can use this to like check what cookies they have this site is so mostly I use for cookies only uh, for my personal app but you can check your case storage application case try to clear out refresh cases and uh, this thing so when you right click on this it will refresh the cases so background fetch what it is what it has fetch and all so this is pretty much now it's security so for security is saying like this page is not secure so you can try to hack this uh, my blog and tell me like if you are able to hack or not but uh, it is giving uh, 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 it is telling like it is not secure because uh, I don't have certificate for HTTPS 
so if it some site has https uh, uh, certificate it will give uh, more information like this page is secure valid with certificate it is what t shirt are using what connection it has all these things so you, this is how you can check your uh, security things also with your uh, this tab so this pretty much uh, of uh, uh, <coughs> this developer tools for qa you can explore other tabs as well from here as i told more tools so mostly uh, we have covered all the tools which uh, we uh, i am using and which is useful for qa also you can like this is also one more thing that is very important so if you are somewhat creative and have want to help developer like if you are seeing like this icon looks ugly so you can go to this icon you can change their elements like okay i you can uh, change your background color here you can give some other background color like dark see so it will affect runtime so you can create your own css and tell developer use this uh, css instead of what you are using or use this color i will not give my color a ah, green color see it is matching so you can tell okay use this color or you can uh, copy with from this icon and paste here and tell like okay use this color or this black color something like that what was it yeah so it was white so you can ask a developer to use same color at breaking news has so you can copy from here what color it is uses in background and you can ask a developer to use there so this is also one of the things uh, runtime you can change the css html i show you to, to check special character larger strings some different language text translations so you can use for that so this is pretty much i know from developer tools that i use in in my day to day life testing i always keep open developer tools when i am testing to mostly monitor uh, console outputs and network logs so those are my favorite uh, tabs to get the uh, errors or uh, bugs so this is pretty much from this video if you like this video please like and share to your other qa friends please subscribe this channel and uh, uh, follow us on social media i have put all my links in the description thank you for watching